Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're thrilled to dive into the latest updates for the YOLO Box Ultra, now at version 2.2.0. We've got some new features and crucial bug fixes that you won't want to miss. Let's kick things off with the new features added in this Ultra update. These are designed to give you more flexibility and creativity in your streams. One standout feature in this update is the flexibility in selecting replay frame rates. Now you have the option to align the replay frame rates with your live broadcast, choosing either 25 or 50 FPS. This is crucial for maintaining a consistent look and feel throughout your broadcast, especially in regions where these frame rates are standard. Whether you're capturing the fast action of a sports game or the detailed movements of a live performance, this new control ensures your replays look as smooth and professional as the live event. Ever needed just a bit more control over your video playback? With the new pause functionality for local videos, you can now take a moment to highlight or discuss key scenes live with your audience. Customizing your stream's look and feel on the fly has never been easier. The new draggable overlay menu is here to help. With this feature, you can easily prioritize your overlays by dragging the ones you use most frequently to the front. This customization allows for quicker access, especially when timing is crucial. Integrating external content? The web URL overlay now supports audio. For game streamers and those of you who frequently utilize platforms like Stream Elements, the updated web URL overlay now includes audio support, which opens up a plethora of new possibilities. This feature not only enriches the viewer experience, but also simplifies your setup, allowing for more dynamic and engaging streams without the hassle of managing multiple audio inputs. Preparing for a content-rich stream just got a lot quicker. You can now upload multiple local videos to your stream lineup at once, which is perfect for queued video segments or back-to-back -back presentations. Keep your main content the star of the show. With AutoHide for comments, your stream stays visually clean, and you control when to engage with viewer interactions. Now on to the nitty-gritty, optimizations and bug fixes. This update not only adds functionality, but also polishes the existing features to enhance stability and usability. Addressing user feedback has always been a priority, and we've taken swift action on the commonly reported issue of audio video sync. Many of you have voiced concerns about this, and we listened. This update introduces improvements that ensure your audio and video are perfectly synchronized. Whether you're streaming live events or recording content for later playback, you can now be confident that your viewers will enjoy a seamless and cohesive experience. Frame duplication issues, particularly when switching between different video sources, have been a long-standing challenge. In response to this, we've optimized frame duplication in the latest update to ensure a smoother transition between video feeds. This enhancement minimizes the jarring effect often experienced during source changes, maintaining a smooth and consistent visual flow. We've revamped our scrolling text overlays to provide a smoother, more fluid experience. Previously, many users noted that the scrolling text could appear choppy, detracting from the professional look of their broadcasts. With this update, we've refined the motion algorithms to ensure that text flows seamlessly across the screen, enhancing readability and viewer engagement. In this update, we've specifically enhanced the display capabilities for web URL overlays, with a focus on platforms like Crick Clubs and Crusheros, widely used by our community for streaming cricket matches. If you encounter issues with the incomplete display, we recommend trying adjustments to the width and height settings or using features like auto scale. You can refer to our previous video tutorials for specific guidance. Previously, users experienced issues with the green screen effect when connecting via a USB-C to USB-C cable to computers for Zoom meetings. 
With this update, these problems have been resolved, ensuring that your video displays correctly. By popular demand, the time overlay now operates in a 12-hour format with AMPM indicators aligning better with everyday use. Name, adding a personal touch, you can now rename countdown overlays. It's a small detail that can make a big difference in branding your stream. For those utilizing NDI out for networked video, a critical fix has been implemented in this update. We've addressed the audio issues that were impacting the reliability of NDI streams. This fix ensures that audio transmitted over NDI is now as clear and stable as the video, providing a seamless integration across your networked production environments. That's a wrap on the latest updates for the Yolovox Ultra V2.2.0. Whether it's new features or important fixes, this update seems packed with everything you need to enhance your streaming experience. What are you most excited to use? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's discuss. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group, where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLOlive, you can contact us via email at contact.yololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus on 86 13735 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 13735 See you in the next video.